need to tell you about groups. When you write articles, and definitely if you're writing about travel articles and cancer articles, you need at least two groups. Your travel articles, I do, um, I have a group for California and a group for England. because I've. Uh, so these are my groups, so I just decide you know, these are my topics, California countries, dance, eBay, etc. Big homeschooling one. And you can... Oh, here we go. You can expand all or collapse all. So if I expand all, you can see... Oh, are they down here? Okay. So these are my California articles, and these are countries. And if you go to one of these articles... Can I go to one of these articles? If you go to any of my articles, it tells you the next one in the group. So let's, let's find a random article. How can I educate my children at home? It's obviously in the homeschool group. But if you come down here, oops, this is the next one in the group, and this is the previous one in the group. So it just gives you that automatic link, the fact that you put them in groups. And definitely, if you're writing a part one, part two, let it go on to the next one. How do you do the groups again? Okay. I've put them in groups. Okay. So if you go to, if you go to this article, mm -hmm. it will point you forward to this one and backward to this one. Right, but how do you... Um, how do I set put them in groups? The groups okay. In the well, right down here I have... Uh, orphan hubs. Okay, well, I can show you because I've just written this one. Profile of a paedophile, uh, I'm leaving it as an orphan hub because I didn't realize, but you can't write about paedophiles and put Google ads on. So I just kind of wrote it and, you know, I'm not making any of it. I'm not linking it into anything. Uh, the importance of reading in education. When you write a hub, it becomes an orphan hub. Or, so you will right now see that all your hubs are orphans. And so you can add a new group and call it what you like. You can delete a group, you can edit. I'm not too sure what edit is, edit the, the name of it. Okay. And so what I want to do, and it, it gets a little, if there's a huge list like this, so I usually collapse all and accept what I'm dealing with. So I want orphan hub and homeschooling and so I want to move that orphan so see I've done a lot of homeschooling I want to move my orphan hub so I'm clicking and dragging I want to move that into my homeschool and then you want to put it somewhere where it's near others that are even even within the same category put it near the others so I might put the Dundee cake recipe next to the Edinburgh hub and not the London hub, for instance. So try, you know, within you can, so that, that will point to that one and to that one automatically, but you have to come down here and click save changes in order for it to save. Okay, so that's, that's now saved. So it's really easy to set up, but I think this is neat because you can um, go forwards and backwards. It, it's, it's just an extra link for you that it's, I'd been on her page a long time before I realized you could do this. So that